hello friends today in this tutorial i will be building or i will be telling you a new service that i deployed on my freemediatools.com website so this service allows you to convert your png image into a icons image so icons are generally used inside applications so you can just make icons here just upload your png image and then it will automatically make icons of various sizes so here you can select the size as well so various sizes are there 16 by 16 24 by 24 29 by 29 256 by 256 so various sizes are there depending upon your size you can select it let's suppose i select 100 by 100 and the user interface is pretty simple the link will be there inside the video description you can go to the live demo this is deployed on my website freemediatools.com slash png to ico so the link will be there inside the video description so here you just need to upload your png image so just upload this image select your icon size and click on download icon file so simply click the download button it will upload your image first and then automatically it will download your icon file as attachment you can open this icon file so here you should be having a app installed here you can see you can cross check here if you just hover onto it you will see the size which is 100 by 100 dimensions so here you can I can just open this my paint app you can see this is 100 by 100 size so the quality of the image will not be degraded it will remain the same and uh, you can simply let's suppose this time I want a different dimensions which is 1024 by 1024 so if you click download icon file so as soon as the size increases the image size will also increase you can see this file size will increase to 4.1 megabytes so because the size is larger here because the dimensions are larger so that is why the size is also large so it will download this image here so when it completes i will show you how it looks like so depending upon your application size you can download the image so you can see this is the icon here if i open this this will be larger in size you can also see the quality as well so quality has also good so we are using some libraries in order to build this application now i will tell you how i build this application the whole source code of this application will be there inside the video description so this is my step by step blog where i developed this application so just go to the blog to download all the source code so the link will be there inside the video description so now i will tell you how i build this so you just need to go to npmjs my website is made up of node.js and express i make use of these dependencies so there is a dependency which converts png to ico ico stands for icon file so if you just type this and the very first dependency which comes in which is the dependency click this dependency it has got 955 weekly downloads you just need to execute this command npmi png to ico it will do the same process you uh, just input the png you select the dimensions and then it will output the dot ico file so it's a very simple example it has given here in the usage section here and now what you need to do is that make a brand new node.js project and what you can do is that let me just show you a very simple example uh, what mm, let me have the files here so inside our index.js so inside your node.js project you will have your index.js file so first of all what you need to do is that so you need to import your so we are building this inside express so you need to require express so app express so we just need to have a port number where we the app will be listening so port number will be 4000 and now app dot listen we can pass the port number here so then we can make a simple get request so apart from that uh, inside the video description i have told you which modules to install 
let me just summarize if you go to the blog here i have step by step illustrated how to build this so first of all you will install all these dependencies npm init dash y so this will create the empty package.json file and then you will install these dependency first is express which is for the server then nodemon which will automatically restart the application for you ejs is a template engine for re rendering out html documents so install this malter will upload your files png to ico which do the conversion process and jimp is another dependency which will be resizing the images so just depend just install all these dependencies and then make this index.js and now after this we can set our view engine which is uh, ejs so just set this and also we will need body parser middleware so which is a built-in dependency you need not have to install it so body part whenever we are working with forms we need this dependency so we can use this body parser dot json you need to write these two lines app dot use body parser dot url encoded and inside this this takes a property of extended to false so just write this and then we also need the jimp dependency jimp so we need to require it jimp and we also need to require png to ico sorry png to ice icon file so this has a dependency which is png to ico that's it so now after this now we also need the malter dependency which will upload the file malter so we also need to require this also malter so after having this what we can do we can make a get request to png ico and this will have request response attached to it now we can have a template response.render we can have this template png to ico and here we can give a title suitable title png to ico converter that's it so we can uh, we have to make a views folder inside this we need to make this file png to ico dot ejs i have all i have already done that you can see inside my views folder this is a views folder you can see i have this file which is created already created png to ico so all the source code is given here Oh, this is bare bone HTML file. I will not write this. I am using just bootstrap here. If I load this file, if I make a request here, if I go to localhost 4000, you will see this will render out. So, sorry, we need to go to that route which is png to ico. So, you will see now we have this choose file button. We need to choose a file and then select the size and click the download icon file so now we need to have a way by which when we click the button so where let me just summarize this file here a little bit so you can see uh, here we are making this a post request upload png to ico so we we have a progress bar also so whenever we need to upload this file we will first of all make a post request through ajax here so this is the ajax request we need to make this post request first upload png to ico and then after uh, after uploading the file we will make this again post request which will carry out this process png to ico so two post requests we need to make this inside in index.js so just open index.js and here we will first of all make two post request app.post first will be slash png oh, sorry upload png to ico this will upload the png file on the server so after the successful upload we will again make a post request which will carry out the conversion which is png to ico which will take the png file and convert this to icon file again this will have request response so now guys we need to First of all, uh, configure our malter dependency. So wherever we will be storing the files, uploaded files. So for that, we can just follow the instructions which are given in the blog. So here we need to first of all make this, write the snippet code here. You can see. Uh, let me just. We will also explain it. 
what we are doing here so just control c and simply paste it inside your index.js file so i will paste it here if you paste it uh, we will programmatically create this directory which is public slash uploads so here we will be storing all the uploaded files which will be uploaded public slash uploads and then we will be making sure that we are telling express that public is a static directory so where we will storing all these files so these two lines are very much important so what we will happen when you execute your node.js application it will automatically create this public slash uploads directory you can see I have already created that but when you uh, run the application for the very first time it will create these two directories public and inside this it will have uploads directory which will have all the uploaded files which will be uploaded on the server so just write these two lines and now we will configure our malter dependency for malter we need to have a storage variable you can see we have this storage variable simply we need to copy this so this is very simple i will explain you what it is doing here inside this we have two properties here destination where we will storing it we have providing this path here again public slash uploads and then we have the file name what file name that we will be giving to the actual file name which will be uploaded that's it and now what we need to do is that we again need to have a filter here where we will only be uh, applying a dot png filter we will be only be uploading files which have an extension of png so after this we just need to paste these two lines again so we have applying a png here dot png if you submit any other file this will return an error here this extension is not supported and then we will have we will pass these two options which is storage and file filter and then this is a variable that we have created now we simply need to pass this inside our post request here when we are uploading files so we can just pass this png to ico upload so this will have request response and a callback of error so if any sort of error take place we can return that error so what you can do is that you can just simply copy paste this here So just copy it and paste it here. So here simply if any sort of error take place we will return this message error in uploading file. But if the file is successfully uploaded we will take the path and we will return it inside this path variable. And now after this we will simply carry out this process of converting it to the this icon file. So this is a business logic. Let me just paste it here and then explain you what is happening here. So if I just paste it, so you can see here, first of all, we are taking the size, which size the user has selected in the select box. We are converting the string part to integer by using this parse int method. And then we are using this jimp dependency. Inside jimp, we have a method. We can take the input image, we can resize it. You can see we are using the, this resize method to resize the image to whatever dimension that the user has selected. We can also change the quality as well. We are changing it to 100 quality and then we are writing this file. And then we are passing this resize image to this PNG to icon uh, function. So basically this will convert the PNG image to icon file and then we can programmatically download this file using this output file path variable so now if you execute this application so it is it will say that file system is not defined so we need to uh, include this file system which is a built-in dependency you need not have to install it this will also have the path here let me also have path which is again a built-in dependency you need not have to install it so now if you execute your application your application will work let me just again choose a file let me choose this png file and select change the size to 44 into 44 and you will see it is saying cannot get slash download so now we also need to add this download request whenever because of the in order to download the file 
so this is pretty simple you can go to the block and download this code here this download request so this will simply download the file for us once the conversion is completed so simply you can paste it wherever so let me just delete this code here paste it simply it will take the path and download the file automatically for you as an attachment so now we can execute the application let me check if any sort of error is there so no error is there so we can now repeat the process select the png image and here we can change the size to 48 into 48 so now you can see automatically the icon file has been downloaded let me take another example here let me choose this size again download so you can see so now we have successfully made a png to icon converter in node.js and express all the source code will be there inside the video description and uh, you can also check the live demo on my website freemediatools.com apart from that you will also find a wide variety of tools available to you so please check out this website and share it with your friends and i will be seeing you uh, in the next video